September 9th. It is, what time is it? 11.37. That's what the stove says anyway. Uh, it is quiet here. I think it's the calm before the storm. Our furniture is being delivered from California on Tuesday. And in the meantime, we're having landscaping done the wall out here repainted, which if you're watching this, you saw the beginning part of it in last week's vlog. Now I can show you, if I turn around, the red is completely gone. And this beautiful shade of green, which we had in the old house, which we love. I love it. Looks really great. He's painting the master bedroom, a wall in the master bedroom right now. So now, it's nice to have a quiet afternoon. When he's done, we're gonna head out to the grocery store and yeah, get some actual food in the house. <laughs> Something besides yogurt, coffee, or junk food. Anyway, I think it's all good. Bandit will be coming home uh, in about a week. My parents are going to bring him down from their place and help us set up a dog run. By that time, the the moving company will have dropped off our furniture. Things will still be in boxes, but at least that'll be done. And we're having um, bug people come and... I don't know. I don't know. I forgot who else is coming. Let's see. Um, a plumbing person is coming to fix the irrigation in the front because there's a leak. And actually, we're good to go after that. At least, you know, there's a few DIY projects, but yeah, it's just unpacking boxes. Pretty cool. All right, I'll be back. Can you hear that? We're at the new house, and it, we've been here since Thursday night. It is Sunday morning. September 9th and <clears throat> we have a contract one contractor on the roof trimming trees cleaning gutters cleaning the roof and then he's putting a solution up there so you don't get moss growing up there and at the same time we have another contractor who's painting the red wall that was in the house and covering that up it is now green it's a very pretty shade of green. It's a bit much better than the fuchsia red. Those windows have got to have, that's going to be next on our project list. So we've got to put window treatments on those. They're beautiful windows, but heck, it's heck of bright at night in the afternoon. And we've got both computers unpacked so we can work. Here's Fred's office. We don't have our furniture yet. It comes Tuesday, nope. but. We got it hooked up. We got touch-up paint done. Oh, I missed a spot. Uh, well, that's okay. I'll put something there. <laughs> I'll put, we're going to hang a painting there. Um, we got the touch-up paint mostly done. Um, so, yeah, so we're getting there. Now we're just kind of, we have a couple days where we can just breathe and maybe get some groceries and have a few other things done. And then the moving truck comes and then yes. the rest, then the madness begins all over again. Yep. And we have to unpack all that. Yeah. I think we might have an unpacking party and see if we can con any friends and family that we have in the area to come help us over the weekend. So anyway, that's it for the moment. We'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday. I almost said Saturday. It's not Saturday, it's Monday, September 10th. And yeah, it is it just started raining outside. A beautiful overcast day. I, I love, I know that's some of you don't get that. I love the overcast rainy weather. I just love it. So it's a good thing I moved to Oregon, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, I've spent most of the morning. It is like past lunch, I think. What time does the stove say? Let's see. 12.38. So just past lunch, not awfully past lunch, but I spent the morning unpacking the last of the stuff I think I can unpack before furniture gets here. I think I cut my lip this morning. Anyway, um, which would be the big paintings that we brought with us. And we may not have furniture except for folding tables and chairs and 
let's see, air beds for sofas. <laughs> but we have paintings on the wall, as you saw. So I've started to have it look like and feel like home, and I've hung some paintings up on the wall. Let me um, show you all around, and let me turn the camera around. I'll be right back. Kitchen. And we have a buffet that's going to go there uh, underneath those paintings, and um, there is a little wine fridge that's going to go here in the corner. It's going to be the bar area. And that is the door to the master bedroom, and I hung those paintings up. That was my husband's idea. I think that's a brilliant idea. So I like that. And I hang a painting here in the hallway. There's even something pretty for you to look at when you're in the power room. And there you go, you're sitting down. And yes, as you see, we don't have a mirror yet. They took the mirror that was in here with them. I do think we knew they were going to do that. I don't remember exactly, but I think that we knew that there was something special for them, but that's okay. I didn't like it anyways. <laughs> um, I put some paintings here in the library that I want to hang up, but two of mine to one of someone else's. That, that was actually an engagement present for my parents-in-law. I love that picture. But I need to get the bookcases in here first. We have another painting here. And then some more going up the staircase. And let's see. Let's go up the stairs. Can you hear my husband talking? He's working from home today. I'll be doing that a lot from now on. Here's the other face similar to the one downstairs. I painted those for the Yahoo small business photo shoot. I did hang some paintings up in the art space. I'm not going to be putting a lot in here because we need to put new flooring in, which is going to take a few weeks. Hung those. And this one. So cool. That's it for right now. I'll be back. everybody it is what day is it Wednesday it's Wednesday September 12th I'm pretty sure I think I, don't know. I spent the morning unpacking another dozen or so boxes we had the bug people come by we're using a company called Aptiva they are a environmentally friendly, all natural. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Aptiv. Um, they're a nationwide company, I believe, and they use uh, no harmful chemicals in their control of bugs and pests, so, um, or at least very few. So we had them come by today. I also had the designer come by and help me um, order window treatments, so that's on order. That'll take three or four weeks to come in. The new floor for the art room has already been ordered a couple of days ago. That's going to take four or five weeks to come in. The guy's coming to measure next week. Um, got seven kitchen boxes left. And an island needs to be cleaned. But I'm thinking to tackle the last seven boxes and get that stuff put away and then clean the island. Husband's got a couple hours yet left of work yet. And we, then we need to go to the grocery store, but maybe I can tackle these while he's doing that. Maybe. Well, we'll see how far I get. Hi, guys. I have no idea if I vlogged yesterday. It's gotten like that. <laughs> we are here in um, one of the spare bedrooms upstairs. And it's a second master, sort of. It doesn't have a bathroom, but it's got a huge walk-in closet. And this is where we're putting all the art storage stuff. 
Uh, or the, I shouldn't say that. This is called the art storage room temporarily. It will eventually be a large guest room. But, um, let's see. <laughs> Just, um, I'm not putting too much in the proper art room until we get the new floor in. So um, there's just no point. I do not want to pack it up again. I only want to have to unpack it once. So it's all here and there's some, whoops, where are we? Old pictures from back in the day, photos. Wow, that's an oldie from back in the day, 1987. Me and my baby sister Elizabeth, the one who helped me move. There's a picture of Bob and I, again from back in the day. Holy cow, and there's another one. Oldies, there we go. That is me and all three of my siblings. Yep, these are some no oldies. Idea order. I'm gonna hang that yet. So everything that I either don't wanna unpack because it's art room stuff or I'm not sure where it's gonna go yet, it's in this room. Yeah, so that's a thing. Anyway, it's been quite an adventure getting everything unpacked. So far I have the kitchen unpacked, uh, most of the living room except the electronics and entertainment center because yeah, it's best I don't unpack that and I'll let the husband do it. And all of my part of the master bedroom is unpacked. The kitchen was a big thing. That's worse than the art supplies, uh, but I got it all done yesterday. Tomorrow I'm gonna start on the library area, I think. A few boxes a day, a little bit at a time, and it'll get done soon, right? In between contractors and cleaners and yeah. So that's a thing. Anyway, I'll give you a little tour of the house and the rooms as they stand at the moment. Up off the floor <laughs> in this art storage room slash one of the master guest, uh, I'm sorry, one of the guest bedrooms. It's big like our master bedroom. And this one has a really pretty view see this is the premium guest room because look at the view like of the forest a little bit of the house is behind us but look that way really cool all right and we're using the closet in here for storage um, but this is the one with the big walk-in closet I showed you all before and also all the Christmas decorations and by baby items and stuff like that are in here. I'll live there for a while. This is the balcony. See the living room's all set up. And the dining room. This here will be at Bob's office. He's not got anything set up yet. And you notice he's not in here, but he is working from home today. He's borrowing part of my art, my art room to work in for the moment while the contractors are coming in and out. This is the other guest room, the smaller one. It doesn't have a pretty view. <laughs> it, yeah, just a view of the wall. I think I showed you guys that before. And See, there's Fred. <laughs> and there's the other balcony, looking down the staircase. Y'all thought it was interesting and funny that I didn't have uh, furniture in, but I had paintings hung up, at least those of you who saw me on social media. Well, it was all I could do until the moving truck came and I had to do something with myself. So, anyway, we're really liking the new house and I'll give you all a proper art tour. When things are mostly done, I already have a Goodwill pile. I thought I did a lot of purging before we moved. I was wrong. So I've got to get that in the back of the car and get that taken care of tomorrow. Got a couple things that should have made it upstairs when the movers were here. For some reason they didn't. Those are both art room things. And this is the room I'm going to start on tomorrow. I think it was a little sun room for the previous owners. But for us it's going to be a library space. And all of these boxes have books in them. Or, or games, but mostly books. I know, right? Yeah. 
So anyways, that's a little stash of things I want down here somewhere. I just don't know where yet. And more paintings. And this part's all done. Pretty cool. So that's it for the moment. We have our first HOA meeting tonight and uh, that's it. I'll check back in with you tomorrow. I'll be back. Good foggy morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, September 14th. And there's a foggy look at the forest next to our property. It's just beautiful. And yeah, who wouldn't love that view? All right, I'll be hey. back. It's an interesting shopping experience in Oregon. So my husband's home working. We needed a few things. So I headed out <coughs> to go run errands by myself. By the way, it's still Friday. Um, it's 11.09. I've tried to film this a couple of times this morning. And, you know, anyway. Um, so Oregon is one of those states where you have to buy liquor in a liquor store. In California, you can just get liquor pretty much everywhere. But in Oregon, it's one of those states where you can't. And it is definitely more expensive than California. Um, in California, the bottle of rum I bought this morning for my husband would have been probably $15 and it was like 22. So yeah. And then I also got a bottle of lemoncello. I'm not exactly sure how much each one was, but the, I only got the two bottles of liquor. They weren't super huge, normal size, like wine bottle size bottles of liquor. And they were $42 together. That's a lot of money. So if you want to know what to get Bob for Christmas, probably get him liquor <laughs> or gift cards to liquor stores. <laughs> He's going to need it. Anyway, I don't drink that much. My one bottle of limoncello will probably last me a year or more because I just don't drink that much. Um, and then I just went to Fred Meyer. That was interesting. I love that store. They have just enough of a selection of everything that unless you need something specific you don't need to go anywhere else and I love that so I needed a few things for dinner tonight the kids are coming over we're reinstating family dinner at night I would say end game night but the games are still packed but we'll have a nice visit and we'll have some I'm gonna make some tacos so um that's it I'm gonna try to find my way home now because that's a thing hmm yeah we're going to use the GPS uh, Waze app. If you don't know what Waze is, it's a, it's a navigation app. I love it, and it gives you up-to-date traffic information. Um, it accounts for traffic jams and stuff like that, and it's crowd-sourced? Crowd? I can't think of the term. Where pe the people who use the app report the traffic so that the app can navigate the next person who wants to go that way in a good direction basically. I know one of you all out there can explain it better than I can. And I had this on this morning because when I left the house it was like in the early, uh, the low 50s and now it's headed up to the mid 60s and of course hot flashes have set in and I'm boiling. So anyway, I still get to wear sleeves. Woohoo! Alright, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. It is Saturday, September 15th, and we're doing a bit more unpacking, and Mr. Cranky Pants is home, aka Bandit. I'm not talking about Fred. 
<laughs> Can you hear him crying? Because like people aren't paying attention to him. Let's go take a look. Hey. Hi. Hi. Is he complaining? He was a little bit, yeah. I'm getting used to his new place. He's probably gonna cry a little bit because he doesn't, he's not familiar. Hi, puppy. Hey guys, it is the end of our first week here in the new house and so far so good. There are a few things we need to fix or change um, right away, like with any house, um, but significantly less than the old house, I think. Plus, we're able to spread out here, which we both like. Uh, Mr. Bandit is home, as you saw, and he's outside in his run right now, and I think he stopped barking. Cross your fingers. Hopefully he gets used to the new house. He is too old to make it up the stairs. He kind of got up three or four steps and then sat down and looked at us like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. So yeah, he's not going to be able to make it up the stairs, but we kind of knew that going in. Uh, anyway, but it's good to have him home finally and have the family back together. So anyway, it's been a great week, exciting week. Uh, cross your fingers that the other house sells quickly. Um, it is currently on the market. By the time you see this, I'll insert a video, one minute video here of me, um, of me, of the house and it's been, um, staged and cleaned and it is open for business. You can contact Dave Rudden. Um, his contact information's in the description below. Uh, he is our realtor there if you are interested. And my old art room that y'all saw here on YouTube is the room they've decorated as the rock, rock star bedroom. So anyway, um, there you have it, and I hope you've all had a great week too, and um, have an en enjoyed this little adventure with us. Um, have a great day, have a great week, and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.